What is up guys? It's me, Alpha Papa Novi, and welcome back to the channel. Now, let's get right into it. Let's not be around the bush about it. So, um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already know that there's a huge controversy. There's someone that made a video about Vatibira copying him and all this big mess. Now, I'm not making this video to accuse Vatibira of copying anybody or whoever copy who. Um, that's for you guys to decide after you guys watch the videos. I'm going to provide you the links. That's the main reason that I'm making the video is to give you guys a link because the video is unlisted. Um, I actually known of this video the second day it was posted. Um, the video is unlisted. You can only get to this video by having a link. But... Um, so the main reason that I'm making the video or that I'm making this is for you guys to get the link because I'm pretty sure that you guys would like to know about it. Um, everybody deserves to know about it. I mean, if you're a part of the soul community, if you love Dark Souls, if you love Demon Souls, if you like Bloodborne, then I'm pretty sure you want to know. I'm pretty sure you want to watch these videos. And I'm not here to influence your opinion on Vatibira. I'm not making this for you to hate Vatibira or unsubscribe or stop being a Patreon member or like, I don't even know what they're called. Um, people that like donate money to Patreon to him. But I am going to give you guys my opinion on why I think all this is happening um, and how we got to this point. And yeah, so this right here is like my opinion on why all this is probably happening. And I think the main reason that all this is happening is money. Um, when you throw money, you know, onto something, uh, th things are going to go bad. Example, um, Vatibira used to make videos, amazing videos, and he used to put a lot of work, a lot of editing, a lot of effort. Uh, that You could tell that it, there was a lot of work and editing and effort going into these videos. But as soon as after... And I'm just using him as an example, by the way. But as soon as after he started, he started his Patreon page. His video quality um, went down a lot. He wasn't. He's. He doesn't. After he started his Patreon page, it's like he stopped caring. It's like he he stopped trying. Um, he I like the videos that he makes these days. And he another thing that he did was like he's. He stopped uploading as often, like he will upload every two weeks, every three weeks. Now it goes like every three months, every month. And like he like stopped caring, like the passion that he had when he started uploading, it's not there. It's not there, it's more like, and this is what I'm saying, it's the problem starts when you throw money at things, you know? That, that's the, I, and I think that's the main problem. It's like he's making all this money on Patreon and a lot of people are going to be jealous of that. And I think that he feels that he doesn't need to put as much work and effort onto the videos. Uh, but uh, that's just me, though. And I said I wasn't going to like accuse of anybody of anything. But the point I'm trying to make is that like once you throw money at things, um, things just start going bad. And that's the main reason I know that you guys hear me all the time saying, oh, I don't monetize my videos. And I say it in a lot of videos that I don't monetize my videos. And that's the reason why I don't monetize my videos. When I was making a lot of videos of Dark Souls 2, and I was uploading a lot of videos, I was making $300 a month on YouTube just for making videos, just for making what I love to make. Just, you know, for making videos of my passion which it was dark souls and like i've said it before i have um i played a lot of other games i played a lot of games and i don't upload those games because my passion is not there you know these things like the videos that i make they they come out of passion so i was making 300 dollars a month and one day i i sort of was like am i am i continue to making videos because I'm making $300 a month. Why am I uploading so many videos? Because that's the main problem that I have is that when I become obsessed with something, example, Dark Souls PvP, I become obsessed with it. 
I'll play it a lot. I record a lot of it. And due to that, I would make a lot of videos. And I would, like, neglect a lot of things, like, in real life. You know, my dogs, my wife, my kid. And one day, I just stopped. And I started thinking of, like, why am I making so many videos? Am I making this out of passion? Am I making this because I love making it? Or am I making it because I'm getting $300 a month? And that was way before I stopped uploading Dark Souls 2. That was like six months before I stopped uploading Dark Souls 2. Not a car just turned on because I live right next to the um, window. I'm pretty sure you guys could hear that, but I'm not going to stop commentating. That was way before I stopped playing Dark Souls 2. I stopped playing Dark Souls 2 when they nerfed it to shits. When the daggers got nerfed, that's when I stopped playing it. But I was like, why am I uploading so many videos, you know? And... I was like, is it my passion? Is it still, like, if I'm still uploading, am I uploading these videos because I have passion for the game? Am I uploading these videos because I enjoy the game? Am I playing so much? Am I edit? like, I'm spending so much time on my computer editing, rendering, um, like, I have some videos that have taken, like, a week to make, and I wasn't getting many views, um, but then again, I was making $300, a month because I was uploading so many videos I was uploading a lot so I stopped monetizing my videos because I wanted it to know am I uploading because I love the money do those three hundred dollars matter to me am I doing this because I'm making three hundred dollars or am I still doing it because I have that passion and I love the soul series and I'm pretty sure you guys can hear the squeaky breaks and I really do apologize for that it's early in the morning I never thought it the car that is like leaving shouldn't even be parked there. It's not even a parking spot. It's like right next to my fucking window. But anyways, um, so I stopped monetizing my videos. I think like eight months ago that I stopped monetizing my videos. No, probably a year ago that I stopped monetizing my videos, and I stopped monetizing them because I somehow put in my head that I wasn't doing it anymore because I had a passion for Dark Souls. I wasn't doing it because I loved the game. I wasn't doing it because I wanted it to be informative. I was doing it because I wanted money. Like somehow that got in my head. And I stopped monetizing my videos because I didn't want to upload videos because I want to make money. Because I didn't start uploading videos of Dark Souls to make money. You know? I mean, the $300 were nice. It's, you can buy things with $300. You can buy another you know, PS4. You can buy things with it. But I didn't want to feel like, okay, I'm going to play Dark Souls and I'm going to edit and I'm going to record this video because I need to because I want to make money out of it. I didn't want to feel that way. I wanted it to feel that uh, I'm going to record Dark Souls. I'm going to play Dark Souls because I love the game, because it's my passion, because it's a hobby, because I love doing it. I don't want to feel like this is a job. And when I was monetizing the videos, I kind of stopped feeling passion for the game. I, I kind of started, and it's something that I probably, I think that I put it in my head. I, I did it to myself that I was like, I'm monetizing these videos. I'm making $300 a month. And it, it kind of felt like it was a job. It kind of felt like I, it was like I was going to work because in the back of my head, it's like, well, I'm making $300. So it's like, you know, it's okay but i didn't want to feel that way i didn't want to feel that i was that i would didn't want to be influenced by me getting 300 dollars or by me making 300 dollars i just wanted it to play the game and enjoy it upload videos and i wanted it to prove to myself that i wasn't doing it because that the uh, greed of me being greedy or because now i'm making money um, and they like continue to make this game continue to play this game even though I'm not enjoying it or whatever and I wanted it to prove to myself that I was the case that the case was that it wasn't the $300 that it was the passion was still there and the, at, at the end it was, it was I still had the passion everything was still there I was still doing the videos I was you know still uploading them um, to like six months after and then I like kind of low down uploading because the daggers got nerfed to shit and I was like a melee bill I mean you guys know all this already I talk about it on my videos all the time that I stopped 
kind of playing Dark Souls 2 when they nerfed the daggers and I was a melee build only and I love parrying. Parrying is like my thing. I love it. And the daggers were nerfed to shit. Um, and that's when kind of, and the game was already a year old. I had already a, a year and a half or a year old, something like that. It was like a year and some months old. I had played it a lot. And yeah, I proved to myself that it wasn't the money. And that's the main reason that I'm not saying I'm never going to start monetizing my videos again. I, I probably am when Dark Souls 3 comes out. But I have proven to myself that I wasn't doing it for the money. I was still doing it because I was passionate. Like, I love the game. It's something that made me happy. It's something that brought a smile to my face. Uploading videos to YouTube is something that I love. And uploading videos of a game that I love and I'm very passionate enough is something that I love doing. It's, I enjoy it. It's very relaxing to me. Um, you know, it makes me forget about like a lot of real life issues the real world problems if you will and i guess it's just a huge rant so i guess the point that i'm trying to make in the end is that once you throw money into things it, it, things get complicated or things get things are different okay money is pretty evil and at the end of the day money doesn't make you happy um it, money is not going to make anyone happy it doesn't matter how much money you make you can make millions and millions and millions. You're not if money is not gonna make you happy, it's not gonna bring true love. Money is pretty evil and I try to stay away from it as much as I can because I mean it does buy you things. It, it, it's money is nice. Everybody loves money. Um, but money could be pretty evil and I'm pretty sure that all this shit that is going down and all this fucking you know, Vatibira copying people or whatever, 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 whatever. It's due to, like, he makes a lot of money on Patreon. He makes, like, $6,000. I don't know. Um, but that's, I like, guess that's my take. Um, I'm not trying to accuse Vatibira of anything. I don't, I don't make lore videos. Like I said, the main thing that I make this video, that I made this video for is to give you guys the links. Because I'm everybody deserves to know what's going on and i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys don't know what's going on because a lot of you guys just want it just you guys just care about the pvp and pvp pvp only no lore like a lot of you guys are like fuck the lore i'm here for the pvp i'm a red phantom where the fucking noobs at <laughs> anyways guys i'm just ranting at this point um like i said there's no hate towards vatibila there's no hate to nobody um the links are in the description and the and that's a comment and yeah you guys do take care don't do anything bad and alpha baba novish i'll see y'all on the next one What's up guys, it's me Alpha Papa Novi and welcome back to the channel. Now let's get right into it. Let's not be around the bush about it. So um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already know that there's a huge controversy. There's someone that made a video about Vatibira copying him and all this big mess. Now I'm not making this video to accuse Vatibira of copying anybody or whoever copy who. Um, that's for you guys to decide after you guys watch the videos. I'm gonna provide you the links 
that's the main reason that I'm making the video is to give you guys a link because the video is unlisted. Um, I actually known of this video the second day it was posted. Um, the video is unlisted. You can only get to this video by having a link. But um, so the main reason that I'm making the video or that I'm making this is for you guys to get the link because I'm pretty sure that you guys would like to know about it. Um, everybody deserves to know about it. I mean, if you're a part of the soul community, if you love the Dark Souls, if you love Demon Souls, if you like Bloodborne, then I'm pretty sure you want to know. I'm pretty sure you want to watch these videos. And I'm not here to influence your opinion on Vativita. I'm not making this for you to hate Vativita or unsubscribe or stop being a Patreon member or like, I don't even know what they're called. Um, people that like donate money to Patreon to him. But I am going to give you guys my opinion on why I think all this is happening um, and how we got to this point. And yeah, so this right here is like my opinion on why all this is probably happening. And I think the main reason that all this is happening is money. Um, when you throw money, you know, onto something, uh, th things are going to go bad. Example, um... Vativira used to make videos, amazing videos, and he used to put a lot of work, a lot of editing, a lot of effort. Uh, that you could tell that it, there was a lot of work and editing and effort going into these videos. But as soon as after, and I'm just using him as an example, by the way. But as soon as after he started, he started his Patreon page. His video quality. Um, went down a lot he wasn't he's he doesn't uh, after he started his patreon page it's like he stopped caring it's like he, he stopped trying um he like the videos that he makes these days and he another thing that he did was like he's he stopped uploading as often like he will upload every two weeks every three weeks now it goes like every three months every month and like he like stopped caring like the passion that he had when he started uploading it's not there it's not there it's more like and this is what i'm saying is the problem starts when you throw money at things you know that, that's the I, and i think that's the main problem it's like he's making all this money on patreon and a lot of people are going to be jealous of that and i think that he feels that he doesn't need to put as much work and effort onto the videos uh, but uh, that's just me though and i said i wasn't gonna like accuse of anybody of anything but the point i'm trying to make is that like once you throw money at things um things just start going bad and that's the main reason i know that you guys hear me all the time saying oh i don't monetize my videos and I say it in a lot of videos that I don't monetize my videos. And that's the reason why I don't monetize my videos. When I was making a lot of videos of Dark Souls 2. And I was uploading a lot of videos. I was making $300 a month on YouTube. Just for making videos. Just for making what I love to make. Just, you know, for making videos of my passion. Which it was Dark Souls. And like I have said it before. I have, um... I played a lot of other games. I played a lot of games and I don't upload those games because my passion is not there. You know, these things like the videos that I, I wanted to prove to myself that I was the case. That the case was that it wasn't the $300 that it was the passion was still there. And the, at, at the end, it was, it was I still had the passion. Everything was still there. I was still doing the videos. I was, you know, still uploading them um to like six months after and then i like kind of slowed down uploading because the daggers got nerfed to shit and i was like a melee bill i mean uh, you guys know all this already i talk about it on my videos all the time that i stopped kind of playing dark souls 2 when they nerfed the daggers and i was a melee bill only and i love parrying parrying is like my thing i love it and the daggers were nerfed to shit um and that's when kind of, and the game was already a year old. I had already a, a year and a half or a year or something like that. It was like a year and some months old. I had played it a lot. 
and yeah i proved to myself that it wasn't the money and that's the main reason that i'm not saying i'm never going to start monetizing my videos again I, I probably am when dark souls 3 comes out but i have proven to myself that i wasn't doing it for the money i was still doing it because i was passionate like i love the game it's something that made me happy something that brought a smile to my face uploading videos to youtube is something that i love and uploading videos of a game that i love and i'm very passionate of it's something that i love doing it's i enjoy it it's very relaxing to me um you know it makes me forget about like a lot of real life issues the real world problems if you will and i guess it's just a huge trend so i guess the point that i'm trying to make in the end is that once you throw money into things is it, it, things get complicated or things get things are different okay money is pretty evil and at the end of the day money doesn't make you happy um it, money is not going to make anyone happy it doesn't matter how much money you make you can make millions and millions and millions. You're not if money is not gonna make you happy, it's not gonna bring true love. Money is pretty evil and I try to stay away from it as much as I can because I mean it does buy you things. It, it's money is not make they they come out of passion. So I was making three hundred dollars a month and one day I I sort of was like Am I, am I continue to making videos because I'm making $300 a month? Why am I uploading so many videos? Because that's the main problem that I have is that when I become obsessed with something, example, Dark Souls PvP, I become obsessed with it. I'll play it a lot. I record a lot of it. And due to that, I would make a lot of videos and I would like neglect a lot of things like in real life, you know, my dogs, my wife, my kid. And one day I just stopped and I started thinking of like, why am I making so many videos? Am I making this out of passion? Am I making this because I love making it or I'm making it because I'm getting $300 a month. And that was way before I stopped uploading Dark Souls 2. That was like six months before I stopped uploading Dark Souls 2. Not a car just turned on because I live right next to the um, window. I'm pretty sure you guys could hear that, but I'm not going to stop commentating. That was way before I stopped playing Dark Souls 2. I stopped playing Dark Souls 2 when they nerfed it to sheds. When the daggers got nerfed, that's when I stopped playing it. But I was like, why am I uploading so many videos, you know? And I was like, is it my passion? Is it still, like, if I'm still, uplo am I uploading these videos because I have passion for the game? Am I uploading these videos because I enjoy the game? Am I playing so much? Am I edit like I'm spending so much time on my computer editing, rendering? Um, like I have some videos that have taken like a week to make, and I wasn't getting many views. Um, but then again, I was making three hundred dollars a month because I was uploading so many videos. I was uploading a lot, so I stopped monetizing my videos because I wanted it to know: Am I uploading because? I love the money. Do those three hundred dollars matter to me? Am I doing this because I'm making three hundred dollars, or am I still doing it because I have that passion and I love the Soul series? And I'm pretty sure you guys can hear the squeaky breaks. And I really do apologize for that. It's early in the morning. I never thought that the car that is like leaving shouldn't even be parked there. It's not even a parking spot. It's like right next to my fucking window. But anyways, um, so I stopped monetizing my videos i think like eight months ago that i stopped monetizing my videos no probably a year ago that i stopped monetizing my videos and i stopped monetizing them because i somehow put in my head that i wasn't doing it anymore because i had a passion for dark souls i wasn't doing it because i loved the game i wasn't doing it because i wanted it to be informative i was doing it because i wanted money like somehow that got in my head and i stopped monetizing my videos because i didn't want to upload videos because i want to make money because i didn't start uploading videos of dark souls to make money you know i mean the 300 dollars were nice it's, you can buy things with 300 dollars. you can buy another you know, ps4 you can buy things with it but i didn't want to feel like okay i'm gonna play dark souls and i'm gonna edit and i'm gonna record this video because i need to because i want to make money out of it 
I didn't want to feel that way. I wanted it to feel that uh, I'm going to record Dark Souls. I'm going to play Dark Souls because I love the game. Because it's my passion. Because it's a hobby. Because I love doing it. I don't want to feel like this is a job. And when I was monetizing the videos, I kind of stopped feeling passion for the game. I, I kind of started. And it's something that I probably, I think that I put it in my head. I, I did it to myself. That I was like. I'm monetizing these videos. I'm making three hundred dollars a month, and it, it kind of felt like it was a job. It kind of felt like I, it was like I was going to work because, in the back of my head, it's like, well, I'm making three hundred dollars, so it's like you know, it's okay. But I didn't want to feel that way. I didn't want to feel that I was that I would, didn't want to be influenced by me getting three hundred dollars or by me making three hundred dollars. I just wanted it to play the game and enjoy it, upload videos, and I wanted it to prove to myself that I wasn't doing it because that the uh, greed of me being greedy or because now I'm making money, uh, money like continue to make this game, continue to play this game even though I'm not enjoying it or whatever. 